My spouse ignores me. What should I do? Does it feel like your spouse might be ignoring you or even avoiding you? What can be done in these kinds of situations to get your relationship to where you want it? Hi, I'm Monica. And in this video, I'm going to share with you advice from marriage and family psychologists and therapists, Lynn Scoresby and Erin Anderson, about what they recommend you do in this kind of situation. Lynn Scoresby writes for Family Today that in many cases, spouses begin to ignore each other because they are trying to escape from conflict. If a simple discussion more often than not turns into a wave of insults, your spouse may learn to cope with the situation by retreating into themselves and tuning out of the negative communication. Scoresby goes on to explain that no one is to blame in this scenario. It is simply a matter of different communication styles. Family therapist Erin Anderson teaches that so many of the differences in communication styles comes because of how we were raised and socialized. Anderson points to the common experience of many men who were socialized to show aggression instead of softer emotions like fear, hurt, and embarrassment. Our cultural norms have made it difficult for us to understand our emotions and have made it especially hard to know how to communicate them to others. The Institute for Family Studies has found that a lack of communication or bad communication is the number one contributing factor in why couples separate. So it's quite possible that this lack of communication skills is the reason it feels like your spouse could be ignoring you. Here is what therapist Scoresby and Anderson recommend you do to improve communication in this scenario. Number one, reward your spouse for being emotional with you. Although they might not show their emotions to you often, reward them when they do. Give them a hug or simply say thanks when they show some vulnerability. Never underestimate the power of positive reinforcement. Number two, don't accuse, give commands, or berate your spouse. This will only cause anger and resentment. Avoid saying things like, you never listen, or you don't care about me. These types of statements will cause further argument or withdrawal. Instead, tell your spouse how you're feeling and express your desire to be closer. Number three, don't interrupt or raise your voice. When discussing personal issues, it is easy to become emotional. This can lead to raised voices and interruptions. Because these behaviors are often unconscious, try to be self-aware as possible. Try to remain calm and let your spouse finish his or her thoughts before you respond. Number four, ask for help. Change always takes deliberate effort. Seeing a counselor can be a great way to raise awareness of situations in your relationships. There is no shame in seeing a professional for help. If you or a loved one is struggling, take a step to see a mental health or relationship specialist. Like we said in the beginning, many people have not been taught well how to understand or communicate their emotions. Trained professionals can give you the insights and tools you need to learn to better communicate and work towards the relationship you want. If you'd like more expert advice on how to improve your communication skills, you should check out Family Today's course designed by family therapists and researchers called Coupled. It spends an entire week walking you through how to improve your communication skills as a couple. It also covers how to improve your intimacy and strengthen your partnership. Check out the link in the description for more details on the course, and don't forget to subscribe to Family Today.